Welcome to this edition of Monthly Matters where we highlight great things in El Dorado County for students, families, and communities. This month, EDCO team members were invited to read to a preschool class. I had the privilege to read the book, Llama Llama Red Pajama, to a group of bright, intelligent, and engaged preschoolers. This preschool class, representing the class of 2037, is already showing great promise. EDCO leadership hosted the new team member dinner. This time is always special for new team members to EDCO. We enjoy a delicious meal prepared by Brenda and the food services team. During our time, we're able to highlight our values and organizational impact throughout El Dorado County, the region, and the state of California. Most importantly, we review why we exist and who we are. As you know, we're an organization that exemplifies continuous improvement excellent service, and collective impact. Congratulations to Brendan McClellan, El Dorado Hills Rotary Student of the Year. Let's head over to Rolling Hills Middle School to meet this exemplary student who goes above and beyond for others. Brendan is a leader in our classroom, in our school, and in the community. He's always looking out for others, providing words of encouragement, words of affirmation to help them feel happy and good about being here at school. He's always supportive of staff members, um, students alike, and friends in the community. For him, the reason he was selected is because of his compassion, his kindness, and his heart. It felt great. Um, I was excited to have my whole family come, have everybody there, and have breakfast, and everybody was super nice. I wasn't expecting it when I got called to go down to Mrs. Bowers. I was a little nervous. I encourage my friends um, when when they say I don't want to write and I say I believe in you guys. You guys could do it. Like on a like on tests when when my friends say I cannot do it and I just say you guys can believe in your guys yourself. One example of Brendan's amazing personality was last year during the Caldor fire. I was teaching and received a call unexpectedly that I needed to evacuate my home immediately. So even as I left the classroom unexpectedly, he was giving me a thumbs up and it's okay, everything is going to be all right, you can do this, be strong. He was just so positive as I left. A few days later, being displaced and living in temporary housing, everything was upside down in my world. So coming back to school and being with our class and um, all of our students really was encouraging for me. At one point, Brendan must have overheard that I couldn't even get the kind of coffee that I needed to be able to function in the morning. That for some reason, all of the peppermint was gone from El Dorado County and I wanted a peppermint mocha and that would just make me feel better. Fast forward to the next morning, Brandon had planned with his family to go find peppermint mocha for me, which didn't exist. So he got creative and found candy canes to add to the peppermint mocha that he purchased and showed up proudly to cheer up my day. That was just one of many, many, many things that happened. Um, but that was when I first got to know Brandon and how amazing he really is. And he does this kind of stuff every day for wow. everybody he comes across. That's not great. just me. A distinguishing strength in the DNA of El Dorado County is a strong sense of relationships and community. In the past two years, relationships and unity have been tested. Every sector has felt the tensions surrounding tough issues, public health, political polarization, to educating students in the midst of a pandemic. Bridging Divides is an initiative to bring together key leaders and El Dorado County citizens from education, business, nonprofits, youth, law enforcement, faith-based, and government entities to discuss and explore how to have meaningful conversations surrounding some of the most challenging issues we're facing today. The first day of the convening set the stage for healthy and constructive dialogue. 
Meaningful civic dialogue and engagement is at the heart of democracy and healthy communities. This month clearly was a special month for our community. Fall is a beautiful time and it's very evident we have so many people working hard on behalf of our students, families, and communities. And I just want to extend a sincere thank you to all of you. Thank you for joining me for Monthly Matters and I will see you again next month.